So before we start this video, I want to know how many of you guys do have an RTX graphics card, whether it's an RTX 2060, 2070, 2080, or a 2080 Ti. How frustrated would you be if we ended up getting an 1180 or a 1680 graphics card and you own a 2080, but it cost half the price, it just does not have ray tracing. Everything else that the 2080 and the 2080 Ti do, this graphics card will do, it just will not have ray tracing. Would you be as upset as I would be right now after I just built this computer? Bruh. I don't think that I need to bring this part up in the video, but for those of you that are unaware, the 1660 Ti has been getting some very, very positive reviews. Yes, it is still not like the top tier graphics card, but it is the best graphics card that you can buy for $280. Keep in mind there are different versions of the GTX 1660 Ti, but if you get the single fan GPU, they cost about $280, and that is the best GPU that you can buy for $280. It gives the best performance for that price range. So because of this graphics card being released, this is why I am making this video and why I wanted to talk about the RTX series graphics cards having some different versions just without ray tracing being released. But before we get into all of that stuff, if you guys are new to the channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and if you enjoy the video, leaving a like is always appreciated. So over on the WCC FTech website, this was posted the other night where there was a few people that were thinking that HP ended up announcing this GTX 1180 graphics card series, but it does look like HP ended up reaching out to them and did tell them that it was not the case. It says HP reached out to us to state that the documentation in question here was using the GTX 1180 as a placeholder for the RTX 2080 card. Yes, this is the end of the line for this rather short-lived rumor, but it is still something that I wanted to talk to you guys about because if you think about the people that have made an investment in Nvidia and placed like stocks for them, the RTX series graphics cards have not been doing very well. I'm not saying that they're bad. I love the graphics card that I have. It's, it's given me no issues. It performs incredibly well. It does way more than I thought it would do as far as content creation goes. When I'm playing PC games, recording, streaming, all of that sort of stuff, have a bunch of crap open on my computer, I have no like sluggish slowdown in my PC because I understand that that's probably part of my CPU and my RAM and all of that sort of stuff. But a lot of the things that I do, I use my graphics card in order to do that. Like rendering videos, rendering videos at higher bit rates using your GPU is so much quicker than using your CPU to render them. Or you can just use them both in like sequence with each other. That's the only way I can think to explain it. You can use your CPU and GPU together to render a video out and it's just, it renders out so, so quick. Now I understand again that I have the 9900K and I have the 32 gigabyte RAM for all of this stuff, but that does not mean those things combined together do not give me the performance that I was not expecting whatsoever. So if Nvidia does think about this, considering that it was like a rumor just the other day, I think that they will end up releasing a GPU series of the 2080, the 2080 Ti just without ray tracing, given that they have not been doing as well as they should have. And like, like the 1080, the 1080 Ti, those sold incredibly well. Yes, I know the whole mining crap with Bitcoin and that sort of stuff was like going on during that time period. But if you think about it, a lot of the lower end GPUs were better for that and the Inv or AMD GPUs were better than that. So I am thinking that they will end up releasing a 2080 and a 2080 Ti version just without ray tracing. And let me know down in the comment section below if you guys would think that that would be a good... Uh, a good thing because for me I think that that would be cool and I think it would help a lot of people 
that don't have $800 or $1,400 if you're getting the TI of the 2080 and just want good performance on their computer. They don't want to pay that amount of money and they just I won't even lie to you guys. I really do not care about the ray tracing. Metro Exodus, it, it does make a huge difference in that game. Like, I, there's not any games really that support it as of right now. But if Metro Exodus is an example of what ray tracing will end up being, I do think that the RTX graphics cards are worth it, even if there is not that many games that support it right now. Because Metro Exodus, ray tracing on versus ray tracing off, even if you're using the lowest part of the ray tracing, the lowest option that you have, like it's a big, big, big difference. Obviously using the ray tracing ultra or the maximum ray tracing, it, it, it looks even better, but there is a very big, it's very noticeable. Um, but anyways, for people that want to get like a GTX 1680 that costs 600 bucks, I'm just going to throw a number out there instead of 800 or 900, if you're getting like an EVGA or an ASUS or a, a third party one, I think people saving money would help the sales of Nvidia. And I think that that is part of the reason that the RTX series GPUs just have not been selling that well. Because if you think about the GTX 1080, and I know I'm like going way overboard as far as me needing to talk about this stuff. But if you think about when the GTX 1080 and the 1080 Ti were out, the um, Titan, not many people bought the Titan. Like the Titan, those were basically what the 2080 Ti cost. So that, like just that alone, when Nvidia ended up titling, and this is the only way I can think to explain it, but when Nvidia ended up naming or titling the RTX graphics cards, what a lot of people do not understand is that, and I understand they have an RTX Titan now, but it's not really, it's just, it does not really do anything. I mean, I mean, it does, it is better in a 2080 Ti, but it's not like, it's more for like companies and businesses. But anyways, the 2080 was supposed to be an upgraded 1080 Ti. And then the 2080 Ti was like a boosted Titan. So a lot of people don't understand that Nvidia ended up doing it that way. And um, so like a 1070 would be like an upgraded 1080. A 1070 or 2070 would be an upgraded 1080. A 2070 Ti, which I don't even think is out and I, I may be incorrect about that, would be, you know, I think you guys understand what I'm saying. But anyways, regardless, let me know what you guys think about this. And if you think a GTX series of the RTX graphics cards, like even if it's called the GTX 2080, you know what I mean? Like it didn't have to be the 1680. I just feel like a GPU without ray tracing to, you know, help their sales because I like, I never want Nvidia to fail. Like they're, they're a great company, you know, but yeah. That's going to bring us to the end of the video, guys. I know there's just like me talking, chilling, not really anything like leaked or rumors or anything like, I mean, technically it is a rumor, but, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to support it with a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.